All right, guys, we have even more funny drama. And then the drama this time has to do with my actually second channel, Kaka TV 2, where we watch Beyblade reactions. And basically, let me give you a summary. What you're seeing right now is a Reddit post that's titled Kaka TV is horrible, posted one day ago from a deleted account as a deleted post. But it still has the name. The auto mod literally tags his name so we know who posted it. This is the guy that's posted it. So let me give you a bit of a breakdown. This guy showed up to my stream, begged for when the next baby reaction is or if there's a schedule. And I told him, fuck off, there is no schedule. Just shut up and just watch the stream. Then he got really angry and then I banned him. And then he went on Reddit to complain. And the funniest thing, and listen, I need some of my boys in chat right now to agree with me because you actually saw it, right? This guy says, I just had it on my phone but lost it. People have actually seen, I read it last night at 3 a.m. These are not paid actors. I remember reading the post, it was pretty funny. The deleted post was basically him saying, Oh, this guy does Beyblade reactions and he has the best Beyblade reactions, but, but he was mean to me when I asked for schedule and now I got banned. You guys need to check out his content for real. Please go to Kaka TV on Twitch and see how arrogant he is. And I am very arrogant. For sure I am. But this is basically the basis, the setup of the drama. So by searching for this, right, he got deleted because no one fucking commented on this. I, I noticed his user account. We click on the user account. Then what do we see? We see another post, right? He went to YouTube. There, there's a literal subreddit called YouTube drama. <laughs> it wasn't enough on Twitch. It was also not enough on rants. He posted on like three separate subreddits. And then he went to YouTube drama specifically saying Kaka TV is the worst. The post got deleted. <laughs> as I love the person who originally posted it. So this pussy literally deleted his post again. But let's read it. This post was removed due to a lack of context. Please provide a description of the trauma and the people as well. Okay, let's read some of the comments though. Have you tried shutting up and not talking back? <laughs> and I said that. I told him, listen, you fucking talk back to me when you fucked up. I won't ban you 100% success rate. <laughs> Actually, I was goofing around. Like more than half the post on you. I have no clue who this is. Oh, I apologize for my tone. To be honest, I was also mad when I replied to you because I just failed the university entrance exam. <laughs> I'm a monster, bro. This kid just failed his university entrance exams. He's probably watching my baby reactions to, you know, take the stress off. Then he comes to see his favorite Beyblade streamer. And then I tell him, shut up, monkey. Just, just stop asking about the schedule. And then he... <laughs> I'm a monster. It's all good. Sounds like you're having a shit day. Hope it proves. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. If you'd like to get a hint of this YouTuber's egotistical behavior, you, you don't have to say egotistical behavior. I literally call myself an egomaniac. I am the React Messiah here to deliver you to paradise. And understand where I'm coming from. Just take a look at this. I actually do want to take a look at this. Let's look at this. What did he clip? What section did he get mad at? channel oh oh you mean the one where everyone liked it you mean the one your giga chat for this daily sacrifice on the second channel peak oh and made it onto another video second channel you mean a literal fucking sacrifices playlist again it's i have a literal fucking playlist this is not like this is a normal thing i literally farm my own stupid fucking audience that pisses me off to make more entertainment out of it. If you look at the fucking comments, they're all in agreement with me because what I say is extremely logical and reasonable. And I call out the specific outliers that's acting out. People actually fucking love this. So like, this is just gonna make people think that I'm more based. That's what you're doing. But again, it's tourists that have no understanding of what my brand is that could get upset, for sure. I mean, if I was watching myself for the first time and suddenly I heard myself just scream fucking monkey and get at, mad at people, I, I bet it would be a confusing experience, right? For a completely new tourist, I, I bet that I come off way too harsh, but I'm never gonna like change my attitude or personality to fit tourists. No, I'm gonna be brutally me every time. If content creators are kind, that's certainly nice, but no one is obligated to treat you well. Ooh, 
looking like this is a very reasonable person. There's no need to create a post about it. If Kaka has produced content that you enjoy and you can watch it for free, then he has already provided you with enough value that you should appreciate. His personality is irrelevant unless he's breaking laws. This is one of the most level-headed takes I've ever heard from a random fucking Reddit post about nature of content creation and the relationship between the audience and the creator. This is the most healthiest way that you should approach this. Right? My personality, all the shit that I do for fun does not matter. You're here for the commentary and the analysis of the animes that you enjoy. That's it. Thank you, Samoon, for the prime sub, man. I appreciate it. But this is it. The moment that you treat me as like a friend, the moment that the parasocial experience breaches that, then this is where all the toxic shit's gonna happen. Don, do Don Q, very, very spot on. If OP is being honest, the YouTuber could have just said no there isn't instead of threatening to ban someone over asking a question. No, I said there is no schedule, stop fucking asking me about it. Then he started talking back, then I said anyone that fucking talks back after making a mistake, there's a 100% success rate that you'll get banned so you should probably not talk back is what I said. Then he got super fucking triggered due to how aggressive I was, then he got banned. He could have been nice but then again if someone is reaching out to him, he doesn't need to respond or be nice at all. If you are asking someone something for yourself, be ready to get rejected or be told fuck off. That is not something to cry about. No one is entitled to being nice unless there is some business contract or other laws that tells them to be nice. That is life. This guy... This is a fucking sage. This is a- this is straight up a fucking sage. Like, the next level of enlightenment. I would have never imagined someone to be able to think like this that just like posts on Reddit, but hey, there it is, man. Enlightened sage here, a very wise man. I was only sharing my personal experience, plus it's not only me who's treating that way, and I'm certain I'm not the only one who believed this, and yes. Well, here's the thing. You know why there's like over 200 people every stream that just enjoy my content? all behaving, you notice that like when you were acting out, everyone was making fun of you. Because everyone is well-mannered, they know how to fucking behave and understands the rules of the chat. You come in as a fucking outsider with such fucking entitlement, you got called out for your stupidity, and now you're crying online on random multiple subreddits while constantly deleting your post because you got insecure of your own bullshittery. Content creators who are working in entertainment must be nice to their fans. No, they don't. Okay, okay, let's let's stop this. This is such a fucking delusion. This is the behavior from the most parasitic, the most parasocial audience that thinks that the CC needs to bend over for the audience because their individual value has somehow made that content creator. You were fucking delusional. I don't owe you anything. You don't owe me anything. You chose to click on the video. You chose to put me on a pedestal and think that I'm the best Beyblade reactor. None of that shit fucking matters. All that matters is that you're having fun, then you move on. But people with a twisted, twisted perception on how online entertainment goes like this are usually the most mentally ill as well. Or at the very least, not snap at their followers who ask an innocent question. His ego and lack of manners are beyond just a personality. No. My ego and lack of manners is entirely my fucking brand. If it wasn't, people would not watch me. If it wasn't, people will not actively cheer on these videos. People will not actively cheer on every single time I literally fucking crucify someone. They love this shit because that's my entire brand. And you are an outsider that have no fucking understanding of how this shit works. I think he should seek therapy. No, brother. You need to seek therapy. Look at your Reddit profile. Look at the fucking post you're making. You're making multiple posts about me in schizo fucking posts and deleting it. You're making posts about, I think I have my first anxiety attack. I have no personal space. I want to be in a relationship so bad. Multiple times, I want to be in a relationship so bad. You are literally the terminally online, mentally ill, sick online viewer that needs therapy. How the fuck? Are you making posts like this online and you're telling me to seek therapy? That is unreal. I created this post to highlight to any person who actually knows him. That is not okay the way he's treating others. You know what those people have done? They clicked off. People who are reasonable, functioning members of society, if they don't vibe with the CC, they simply just click don't recommend 
and move on. All you have to do is when you see somebody's video or person that you don't like, you just fucking click this button and click not interested. You just click this fucking button, click don't recommend channel. But you have this personal vendetta. You have this like personal ego that you think that you have made the creator that you as a fan somehow deserve like the CC's entire attention and the kindness. What a sick, twisted fucking mindset. But that's, that's it. That's it. What do you expect, right? Online, this is what you're going to deal with. And I will farm the mental illness of everybody. I will. I will. And this guy is going to continue to watch my videos too. He's probably going to make an alt account on Twitch and join it as well. It's happened multiple fucking times. At the end of the day, my personality does not fucking matter. The way that I treat you does not matter. The content speaks for itself. And that's why I continue to grow every single day.